rivalries of the US and China, and to ensure that Europe's interests are not subordinated to the whims of these larger powers. Macron's proposals for reforming the EU and enhancing its economic and geopolitical position must also be viewed within the context of the domestic political landscape in France and across Europe. In France, Macron has faced significant political challenges, with his reform agenda often meeting resistance from various interest groups and political factions. The Yellow Vest protests, which erupted in 2018 in response to Macron's proposed fuel tax hikes, highlighted the deep divisions and discontent within French society, particularly among the working class and rural populations. Macron's calls for greater European integration and assertiveness on the global stage have also faced scepticism and opposition from more Eurosceptic and nationalist-leaning political forces in France and other EU member states. These groups have argued that the EU is already too bureaucratic and undemocratic, and that further centralization of power in Brussels would undermine national sovereignty and the interests of individual member states. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic and the economic fallout from the Ukraine conflict have exacerbated social and political tensions within the EU, with some member states expressing frustration over the perceived inequities in the distribution of EU recovery funds and the perceived lack of solidarity among member states. In this context, Macron's reform proposals must navigate a complex political landscape where he must balance the need for bold, transformative action with the realities of domestic and EU-wide politics. His success in implementing these reforms will depend on his ability to build coalitions, compromise and convince a sceptical public of the necessity and benefits of his vision for a more resilient and assertive Europe. Macron's call for a more assertive and self-reliant Europe will also require the active engagement and support of a range of key stakeholders, both within the EU and on the global stage. Within the EU, Macron will need to work closely with other member state leaders, the European Commission and the European Parliament to build consensus and secure the necessary political and financial resources to implement his reform agenda. This will involve navigating complex power dynamics, competing interests and deeply entrenched bureaucratic structures. Macron will also need to engage with the business community, labour unions and civil society organisations to ensure that his reforms are responsive to the needs and concerns of various stakeholder groups. This will be particularly important in areas such as industrial policy, innovation and workforce development, where the interests of different groups may not always align. On the global stage, Macron will need to engage with key international partners, such as the United States, China and Russia, to manage geopolitical tensions and ensure that Europe's interests are not undermined by the actions of these larger powers. This will require a delicate balancing act, as Macron seeks to assert European autonomy, while also maintaining constructive relationships with these critical global players. Moreover, Macron will need to work closely with international organizations and multilateral institutions, such as the World Trade Organization, the International Monetary Fund and the United Nations, to shape the global rules-based order in a way that is more favorable to European interests. This will involve advocating for reforms to existing institutions, as well as the creation of new frameworks and mechanisms that better reflect the EU's economic and geopolitical weight. Overall, the success of Macron's reform agenda will depend on his ability to navigate this complex web of stakeholders, build coalitions and forge strategic partnerships that can help to strengthen Europe's position in the global economy and geopolitical landscape. While Macron's vision for a more assertive and self-reliant Europe has garnered significant attention and support, it also faces a range of potential obstacles and challenges that will need to be addressed. One of the key challenges is the EU's internal political dynamics and the potential for divisions and disagreements among member states. As mentioned earlier, Macron's proposals may face resistance from more Eurosceptic and nationalist-leaning political forces, who may view them as a threat to national sovereignty and the interests of individual member states. Moreover, 
the EU's decision-making processes can be slow and cumbersome, with any major reforms requiring the unanimous approval of all member states. This can make it difficult to implement bold, transformative changes in a timely and effective manner. Another challenge is the potential for geopolitical tensions and retaliatory measures from larger global powers, such as the US and China. As the EU seeks to assert its economic and geopolitical independence, it may face increased pressure and pushback from these larger players, who may view Europe's actions as a threat to their own interests. There are also significant economic and financial challenges that Macron's reform agenda will need to address. The EU's economies have been severely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic and the Ukraine conflict, and many member states are facing high levels of debt, unemployment and economic uncertainty. Macron's proposals for increased investment in innovation, defence and other strategic sectors will require significant financial resources, which may be difficult to secure given the fiscal constraints facing many EU member states. There may also be concerns about the potential for these investments to distort market competition and lead to unintended consequences. Finally, there are also potential challenges related to the EU's institutional and governance structures. Macron's calls for greater European autonomy and self-reliance may require significant reforms to the EU's decision-making processes, the distribution of power between member states and EU institutions, and the overall balance between national and supranational interests. Navigating these obstacles and challenges will require a high degree of political skill, diplomatic acumen, and strategic foresight on the part of Macron and other European leaders. It will also require a sustained commitment to reform and a willingness to make difficult trade-offs and compromises in the pursuit of a more resilient and assertive Europe. Macron's warnings about the economic challenges facing the European Union and his calls for bold strategic reforms reflect the growing sense of urgency and concern among European policymakers and citizens. The EU's vulnerabilities in the face of geopolitical pressures and economic disruptions have become increasingly apparent, and the need for Europe to assert its independence and protect its interests has never been more pressing. Macron's proposals for boosting innovation, protecting European industries, enhancing military capabilities and fostering a more integrated and competitive European market represent a comprehensive and ambitious vision for strengthening the EU's position on the global stage. However, the implementation of these reforms will face significant political, economic and institutional challenges that will require careful navigation and sustained commitment. Ultimately, the success of Macron's reform agenda will depend on his ability to build coalitions, navigate complex power dynamics and convince a sceptical public of the necessity and benefits of a more assertive and self-reliant Europe. It will also require the active engagement and support of a range of key stakeholders, both within the EU and on the global stage. As the world continues to grapple with the profound geopolitical and economic shifts of the 21st century, the future of the European Union hangs in the balance. The choices made by European leaders in the coming years will have far-reaching consequences for the region's prosperity, security, and global influence. Macron's warnings and proposals represent a critical juncture in this ongoing struggle, and the decisions made in response to them will shape the trajectory of Europe for generations to come.